Good morning, folks. What? I have a hand of brass. Ooh, awesome. He has a hand of brass. Anyways, folks, this is day four of our Veterans Day camp out, and it's already starting out to be a great day. Beardy CB82 is making waffles for us. Look at his cast iron waffle maker there. He keeps losing count. That whole, you know. Numbers are hard. Numbers are hard. Somebody's like, hey, yeah. let's okay. Yeah. Folks, so the waffles were absolutely wonderful, but we decided we wanted more food. So we got some potatoes, some bacon, onion, and bell pepper. And then after a little while, I'll put the eggs on. All right, folks. So we just got done with basically breakfast lunch because it's almost noon. <laughs> so brunch, I guess. Anyways, my cousin, Steve, also a veteran in the Army, he could not make it to the camp out. But look at what he made. I'll show you guys here. So this is a goose breast wrapped in bacon, another goose breast wrapped in bacon, and we got jalapeno cream cheese wrapped in bacon. So we're going to take the two goose and stick it in the smoker for tonight's supper. Alright, well it's in. Well folks, I'm not trying to be Mickey Mouse. It's time to shoot some ammo. Wait, shoot some guns? I don't know. Same thing. Let me show you guys what our targets are. So this is, I think, around 10, 12 yards. If you guys can see that right there. And then we got these. I don't know, maybe 15. Then maybe 20. Then BJ's painting the 30, I think. And then all the way behind him, that's the 100. It goes downhill. That's why you barely see it and then can you guys see that all the way back there that orange that's the 200 and there's some pumpkins with the white on it right there that is our target I don't know if I'm that. there you go what are you shooting Robin Nine SF, nine millimeter. Nineteen eleven. What do you got there, Robin? AK forty-seven. And you're gonna shoot at a hundred yards? Okay. Go down the down in the bottom of the ditch. Yeah. That's, that's a hundred. Oh, that one. What are you shooting? This is a Ruger 2245 Mark III and 22. <laughs> what you shooting at? Gonna go between the steel targets here, see what I can do. Alright, so you're going for the pumpkin right there in the tree. With Mr. Rogers, yes. Okay. Somebody drilled it. Should have put Tannerite in him, then we would have known if you hit him. Let's 
punching through them? Yeah. There's like two or three hits on it. Well, all the shooting fun is done. Time to look at supper. Let's see how that goose is doing. Oh my goodness gracious. That looks beautiful. Well guys, we are getting ready for supper. The goose is done. We have the jalapenos in there cooking. And then in this pot, we are going to do some canora side Spanish rice. All right, I'll come back when I bring the goose. Look at that goose. Oh, well, folks, day four yep. is about to come to an end. It, it doesn't look dark in there, but it is getting darker. Uh, we're all just hanging out, talking, and doing whatever. So I'm going to end today's video, and then I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, folks, the tent is being put through the test. We got 22 mile per hour winds with 40 mile gusts and now it's raining and I'm keeping Robin up by talking it to you guys. I don't know if you guys can hear all that noise outside. Thankful we have a heater and a stove. Whew. Well good morning folks. Ah, last night we were warm. But it was a miserable night. I really thought that wind was going to blow the tent over. I mean, you can, can you kind of see it rocking a little bit? Here, there. See that? It's just rocking away. But, uh, yeah, so I got up, made sure that the fire was going and stuff. We were warm. And then about, God, one o'clock this morning, rain. Rain, rain, rain. And I did not waterproof this thing because I didn't know I was going to have it. <laughs> but luckily it held out. That, that's, that's important. Robin is outside taking down her hammock site that she thought she was going to hammock in. She was thankful that she was able to just bunk in here with me or else she would have been miserable. Um, Laird of CB82 is still asleep, I think, and so is Willie. Uh, we didn't have a big turnout this year so hopefully next year will be a little bit better i got some coffee on and i will end the video soon hey folks so willie's gotta go thank you willie no for everything this is has been a, a great great weekend because Except i win last night yeah but you know it, how did you sleep i slept good yeah until about 12:30, when the wind was coming howling through so bad, and then the tarp was sitting there bouncing. Oh! But then I finally fell back asleep and slept the rest of the night. So. So you didn't get wet from the rain? No. It rained. Yeah, it rained at one o'clock until yeah. two o'clock exactly, like one to two, yeah. and oh. so I was like, "Holy shit!" I had that uh, pipe. I had that stove so hot that the pipe was glowing. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah, uh, and then I was freaked out and was like, oh my god, it shouldn't be glowing. <laughs> All right, Willie, we'll see you soon. No problem. Thanks for everything. Let me know if you're mowing this weekend. All right, Next I'll weekend. Let you know. Yeah, thank you. Well, folks, we normally do an exit where everybody stands together and stuff like that, but not today today was so windy and oh my god it's not necessarily cold but the wind is so horrible folks you see a vet think of that if you guys you know think about enlisting or whatever check out my uh, interview with the um veterans and stuff but make sure you guys subscribe share the heck out of my videos guys until next time may all your adventures be a okay <laughs>